hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about everyone would love a divine counterpart, except they can't. Hi, I'm Patricia, located in Chicago, and I help people with their activations on their twin flame journey. And even when they're not sure, are they on a twin flame journey? Because it's getting real confusing out there. I'm here to clear up a lot of the misinformation. So let's get right into it. Why does everyone want a divine counterpart? Well, according to a lot of magazines out there who are printing articles by someone who has never even had a twin flame activation, the majority of articles out there are comprised of this. You have someone that kind of scopes around and gleans around and then they pick up little bits and pieces. They decide to write an article. Then they bring in someone who's a psychic. And then they have their editor go over it. And pretty soon, you've got more misinformation out there. Twin flame. Well, isn't that just a split between the masculine and feminine? No, it's not. It's much more than that. Each person in a twin flame union has both energies. And not only that, they have aspects of that energy. They have electric and magnetic. If you need to know how to begin oscillating your own energies, get my book, The Foundations of Twin Flame Ascension. That'll help you begin it and understand it. So what else? Why would people want a divine counterpart? Well, they're trying to be a little bit like Goldilocks. They're saying... Well, I don't want all that intense stuff and that negativity of twin flames. Wow. And especially if it's being said, hey, not every twin flames will come together. Well, I'm going to say a little disclaimer on that. Twin flames are intended to come together. But if you have people that are really messed up and they've messed up their bodies, meaning they've done such damage with drugs, alcohol, abuse, punishment, breaking themselves essentially to get the hell out of here. Yeah, maybe they won't. Maybe they'll come back for another incarnate life. But here's the thing about healing, and I am a master twin flame healer. You're intended to heal some of this stuff. You're intended to heal things like chronic illness, addictions, being a jerk, having bad toxic relationships. You're expected to get out of that and get into your actual unified selves, and then have that togetherness. So that's something that these articles in Brides Magazine, Allure Magazine, Huffington Post, they don't even know about it. They do not know the journey because they have not experienced it. Okay, yet, I'll say this. It is very intriguing for people because who wouldn't want their ultimate, right? Who wouldn't want their ultimate? And your soul is not foolish about this. Your soul, and this is where you go from a soulmate to a divine counterpart. I've helped many people find their divine counterpart. The divine counterpart is someone actually that your soul selects for you. Why would you need that? You might need that for stability. You might need that for financial stability. You might need that to learn how it is to live with someone again. You might need that if you've suffered a lot of abuse at the hands of someone else and you just need a nice balanced relationship. They're usually not passionate relationships, but they can be loving, but it's very earthly loving. It is not the depth of twin flame passion. It is not a deep merging. And yet that is a stepping stone for some people. Some people actually need that. Your soul is going to know what you need, who it'll be. Now, have you had an abusive childhood? Have you had some of those generational things, generational traumas? Okay, it's going to be known about that. And then maybe you need to have someone that they're not going to get deep with it. They're just going to kind of hold you steady for a little bit. Okay, here's what happens. It's good until your soul decides to unplug from that person. It happened to me. It happened to me so that I could get accustomed to some of the things from my twin flames culture, my twin flame, um, different like nuances within the relationship and where they were coming from and from where I was coming from. There are things that are very, what I called in my book, like kind and quality. Okay, it is very similar. 
So it can be familiar. That's one of the things that people put on the list. They feel familiar. Well, yeah, soulmates should feel familiar. You've incarnated with them multiple times in multiple timelines. But there's another thing that happens and it is called bed death. So everyone wants a divine counterpart until the point where it feels like you're just unraveling from each other. You can't make it work. Counseling doesn't cut it. But how do you do this? Stay on track and still, you know, take care of your kids. Take care of yourself. That is the number one thing. You take care of yourself and you grow your light body. And using my methods enables you to be in other relationships that are not your twin flame and still grow. You will outgrow those people at some point. You just will. I've seen it happen again and again and again. They go this way, you go that way. And nothing will glue you two back together again. People do all kinds of stuff to make it work. They're microdosing, they're freezing their eggs, they're trying, you know, to like almost erase themselves in a relationship to relationship work. That's not what this is about. Twin Flame is about fully burgeoning all of the multidimensional facets of you as a sparkling personality, as a person, as a being, and to do it the right way, where you're fully supported and the universe welcomes you. Why? Because you're important. You are important on this journey. You are important, particularly for next year, because you're expected to funnel in much higher love energy. That's not random. These two will not be bringing in random energy. It's very specific. It is specifically going to light them up, turn them on, turn on the things that they need to, turn on their connections for what? Love, work, money, finances, and the whole thing. Because that's how it works. You're not here to be a starving artist. You're not here to be someone who is you know, dying for the sake of love. You're not here as someone who's compromising in a relationship. You totally get each other. You're totally together. You're aligned. And there is no tension. There is tension with the rest of the world. The minute someone else starts circling around again, okay, you can feel it. Why do you feel it? Because the love bubble starts resisting those people. You can sense it. You have your higher spidey senses that help you sense these things and deflect people away. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 you want to be able to do that where it's natural, where it's not intrusive, it's not interfering, and you're welcoming the right things. Why? Because you're literally magnetizing. You magnetize and everything revolves around you that you need everything. That's how this works. So a lot of the misinformation that's out there about, you know, wh why you have to have intensity, why they're a narcissist, why they ghosted you, that is not twin flame. That's soulmate. You want those people gone. You want them to give back what belongs to you. That's my specialty. We slingshot it right back to you. And bam! You catapult forward when that stuff happens. So please, if anything, please let go of your false twins. Are you having doubts? Are you wondering, is this a false twin relationship? Do you scour lists just to see, you know, like what is being said? Have a session because the session actually will help you with integration of your proper connections. You will form not opinions of the mind, but you will form the connections that connect with you, that truly connect with you, who you are, what you need, what you need at any given moment, just like Goldilocks, and sift it out for you. That's too cold. That's too hot. This is just right for just now in this place, in this time. So everyone wants a divine counterpart. You might get one, but not everyone can have one simply because you're on your twin flame journey. At some point, you're going to have your twin flame who is a real person who's flesh and blood like you, bleeds like you, goes to the bathroom like you, and does things that you do because you're they're you. You're you, they're them. 
you have some differences, but you have a lot of similarities. Like, for example, you could have this thing where you're both kind to animals, but it plays out differently in each person. You could both be kind. One has a pet or one does it for a living. The other one, you know, contributes to the World Wildlife Fund or something, but you both have an affinity for it. That's your alignment. It's not always the things of the mind. It's what you feel and you bring it together. You're each feeling it. That's just one example. There are gazillions of examples of running your lives in parallel till it converges to your meeting point. And you will have a series of energetic merges, higher level connections. If you don't know how to create those, have a session, get my book, the foundations for Twin Flame Ascension, it will help you quite a bit. So do you want a divine counterpart? Are you done with soulmates? Do you want what you're really here for? Reach out for the professional help you need. Don't rely on Brides Magazine. Many brides think that they would love to have this, okay? And maybe they do, but you can't go by a list. You have to go by what's in the heart. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.